Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a beautiful summer day so far. Today I'm gonna to take you to Home Goods for a shop with me as well as World Market for a shop with me because I have not been to either of those stores in quite some time and they have some beautiful pieces that I can't wait to share with you. So hopefully you'll be excited to see them and maybe we'll spark some ideas and ways you can decorate your home, make it more functional and stuff like that. But I'm also gonna share with you an updated garden tour and share with you something new I got for the garden and I've been working on stuff in there so I hope you are excited for that but a lot of the items I'll be able to link for you in the description box below just tap the more button right next to the title and it will all pop up in the description box for you there as well as on my like to know it and then I do post different deals on there as well as my Instagram so you can follow me on both of those and everything if you'd like to but yeah I've got a lot to get to so let's go into home goods first and do a little shop I was shocked to see so many good sets at home goods for patio furniture. They have some really good prices. Other ones were a little bit more expensive, like this egg chair is more than Walmart's, but it's also double wide, so you'd have to think about that. But they have so many colors and textures to choose from, so definitely be on the lookout at your local home goods. This little bistro set was adorable. Oh my goodness, I wanted to take it home. <laughs> And can we talk about the planters texture and variety that they have is so, so good. I had such a hard time not putting all of these in my cart. Outdoor planters are huge and they're a really good price compared to nurseries and stuff like that for the size that you're getting and if, again if you don't like the color of them just paint them but I really like that they have different regular patio chairs that are stackable so they store much easier. That is one thing about home goods and always find a look for less, a really beautiful high-end piece that is a fraction of the price, which is always fun. We all know that they have a massive variety of pillows but they have outdoor cushions they're sold in sets of two and four and they're fairly good price and lots of colors to choose from
One thing that I love about shopping at Home Goods, even if I just want to browse and window shop, is that you see such unique pieces. Some of them are designer lookalikes, they're just really unique and it's fun to go shopping because sometimes you find things that you would find out thrifting, but you're at Home Goods. The swivel chair, oh my goodness, so cute, but this wood arch was beautiful and it was only $40. It was such a good size, 36 tall, about 24 wide, great piece, great find. But if you're looking for swivel chairs, sometimes it's hard to find two of them here at once, so when you see them, grab them. But this one in the far left corner is 500 here, but at Home Depot, I have the exact same chair and I love it and it's half the price. So I'll leave a link down below for you. If you are looking for benches, side tables, mirrors, and vases, Home Goods always has a great selection. And again, everything's really unique, and that one is such a good price for the detail and the cane on it. I love it. And you can also find a lot of items on clearance, so it's definitely kind of pick and choose. This one has Pottery Barn vibes to it. It is so big and chunky and just gorgeous. It's a little bit higher priced, but again, it is really nicely made. And you know, if you're looking for something unique, you gotta go out there. I have somebody that's been messaging me on Instagram and she's been looking for my wood piece that I have in my living room. And she's like, where did you guys at home goods? So she's been on the lookout. I think it's been like six months or something. She finally found one by going to a different home goods that she never goes to and she got it for like $18. So I was so happy for her. And just to hear you guys looking for certain items and finding it brings me a lot of joy that you're able to find those good pieces that you've been inspired by. So yeah, I really liked the texture on this pillow. I thought it'd be perfect for a bedroom and it was a really good size. And a lot of the pillows are covers, so you don't have to use the insert. You can just reuse the ones you already have. All right, now we're switching over to World Market. This console is beautiful. It's such a good size, but the detail and the color was fantastic. They've had this swivel chair for quite a while. I actually didn't know it came in this color, but it comes in like a creamy white and this one. The chair is more comfortable to me than the sofa. I don't know, but they have a good selection of pillows. Their pillows are much higher priced than home goods, but they're also unique because you don't see them anywhere else. So I will try to link as many things as I can down below for you so that you can find it online as well, because I know sometimes supply in the store is low and sometimes you just can't find it. But this sofa I believe is new and it's such a pretty texture to the material and the coloring. It would hide stains really well because it has that interwoven uh, mix of colors in it. I don't know, I really liked it and they just have some good pieces. This swivel chair is actually quite comfortable. Again, a little bit higher priced, but you know, at least you know what's out there. And this sofa I believe is new as well as I haven't seen it and I really like the color. I am always like the color green, but this round table I believe 
Walmart has one very similar, so I'll link that one down below, and I think it's a little bit cheaper. So I'm always on the look for something that you can find for less. So I, again, will I'll leave my favorites down below, but this console was beautiful, and I love the curved detail on it. This sofa is actually one that you can put together. It's a sectional. I have it still, and it's still just as comfortable. I love this one because it's really deep sofa, and it's just nice. So... Actually came to the store because I really wanted these plates because I thought they were so beautiful online but the coloring wasn't quite what I was wanting they're way more tan than cream and so I didn't end up getting them um, but they are really beautiful I love the waffle detail on there these ones are actually on Amazon as well so I'll leave them linked down below but I think they're a better price on world market so it's interesting how you see certain things on there and then you see them in the stores. I wanted to share a few of those with you. And then these glasses, I have these off of Amazon. They're actually a better price on Amazon than they are here in the store. So they come in lots of different colors too and they are so beautiful and they're a really thick glass. I love them. These wood and marble boards are great for entertaining, but also for decorating, You're using them on your shelf. You can use them as a tray, very versatile and beautiful. looking for really pretty unique accessories world market's got a lot of really pretty options you can shop online in the store but it's so hard when you're in the store to say no <laughs> i will say that there are so many of these that i wanted to grab but you know i'm trying to be better about not getting everything that my eyeballs see This chair is new this year and it's really pretty and it's very comfortable and it's a really good size. I really like the fabric that they used on it because it's soft but it's also very durable looking. The other chairs are okay, um, they're not fully um, comfortable in my opinion, but this cabinet is gorgeous. Definitely pricey but I love the wood detail on it. They also have this other arched cabinet that's new this year and I really like it. It definitely is a little bit higher priced, but it's really nice quality and it's much cheaper than some of the other ones online. World Market always has a beautiful selection of tables to choose from. This one's really nice and very, very long. I need one that has a leaf in it. Mine does currently does not. So I'm on the hunt for that. I thought I was gonna make one, but making one with a leaf insert in it is a little bit more challenging than I wanna go, I think, right now. But they have some really nice outdoor furniture, um, sets that you can get you can piece things together but I like that they offer a light and a dark option so depending on the color of your house and stuff like that you know you can kind of pick and choose but I really really like this counter stool Ooh, it's so good I definitely suggest a cushion for it and this dining um, chair actually rolls really nice and it comes in a few different colors
I had a lot of fun window shopping at both the stores. I surprisingly did not pick up a single thing, which is a shocker because normally I do, but I was trying to gather up different ideas on what stores have because I'm working on two design boards for my home right now. I'm gonna be doing a couple spaces and I am so excited to share that with you in the coming months. So you'll have to stay tuned for that, but hopefully you enjoyed coming shopping with me and everything. Again, all the links will be in the description box below for you. Now I need to start baking my sourdough bread Bread. I love to make bread. It's just something that I enjoy and sourdough is just delightful. Oh, it's wonderful and I've shared my recipe before with you guys in the past. This I'm just going to share with you how I'm scoring it and baking and it's interesting because um, you can get to two different results with the same dough depending on what you're using. So I use the baton basket. It creates a beautiful crust and I can see my shape wonderfully. But when I make two loaves, I don't have two baton baskets. So I um, will just use a glass um, dish for it and I oil that so it doesn't stick obviously but I always put flour on top and then score it the same way. I did almost the same exact design but you can see that one baked beautifully and the other one did not. Um, it's still beautiful but you can't see the detail in the bread as much so I just wanted to share that with you in case you're trying out bread making and stuff and it doesn't always turn out the exact same way. It doesn't for me either. It's an art and you just have fun with it but it usually will taste wonderful. So I wanted to share that comparison though with using the basket. Sometimes you don't feel like it's necessary to get that little extra gadget. That is actually a necessary gadget to me because it makes a huge difference in the design of my loaves. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that. But now I'm going to take you out to the garden and share with you what I've been working on. I love my roses in the front pathway to the shed died over winter so i have been replacing the plants and i've been taking an uprooting um, wild lupin that i have that's been growing and transplanting that and working with different colors so i'm excited to see that fully grow in i'm also planting delphinium next to it so it should be beautiful here in a few weeks but now I need to spread out this gravel. I unloaded it all with the tractor, but the tractor we don't have a box blade for, so it's by hand. And let me tell you, it's a really good workout, <laughs> but it's very satisfying once you get it all kind of put together. And this just helps keep out weeds. Plus, I really like having pathways to walk and drive the tractor on and stuff. It just makes it fun and it's pretty and yeah. I was able to hire my friend to make this and I just love it. He did such a good job. And I have to paint this because the welding on here will end up rusting if it gets wet. So I'm gonna paint it so it doesn't. Um, and I'm probably just gonna leave the hog paneling uh, natural. I don't know, we'll kind of see how it goes, but I have waited so long for this and I'm just so excited. It was actually supposed to go um, in front of the shed, but um, all my roses died. So that idea went whoop, out the window. But my clematis plant is growing great. You can see it. So uh, it's gonna be the entrance into the berry area. I'm excited. I'm just so, so happy to have this arch and especially to have a vine grow up it. But now I need to make holes for the legs to go in so that it doesn't, you know, obviously topple over or anything. I don't think it would, but I wanted to keep it, you know, good. So I used this and just to create holes that weren't super big, like a post hole digger. And then we just set it into place and I filled it with gravel and then put bark on top. But Oh, I'm so happy with it. Then came the fun task of untangling the plant and trying to find each individual branch basically. And boy, these things are like sp spider webs. They just kind of, I don't know, they tangle around each other and grip on. And so I was trying to be very gentle not to break anything, but look how far up the 
arch it goes. I'm so excited and I got my first bloom on it. I'm just so happy. Last year here, I had zinnias and poppies and only a few of them actually came up. So I did sunflowers, giant ones, and I have some spread out on each side of the garden shed that are slowly coming in. Super excited about that. The daisies have gone wild. The strawberries are coming in really nicely and everything, and they've expanded a ton. I've got this plant, no idea the birds planted it, so I'm happy with it, but the lettuce has exploded. It is just amazing how happy Happy it is and I've just been cutting it and eating it as we go every day it's just wonderful to see you know something that starts from seed and it blooms and blossoms and just grows it's so nice and satisfying the garlic is going good I cut off all the scapes I'm gonna probably make some garlic powder out of those let me know if you've tried that I've got zucchini and squash plants and then lots and lots of annuals and perennials all mixed in together but the greenhouse is coming in beautifully. Everything is growing so nicely. We've got peppers and tomatoes coming in nice and hot. So, so happy. I hope you all enjoyed today's shop with me at Home Goods and World Market. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit of my garden. I'll update you as the weeks go on. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Enjoy your summer. Have fun and relax. I've been saving you. You save me too. Yeah, I need don't you need me to too? Cause I got you, and you got me too.